Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Jalal Ahmad and in this tutorial we are going to learn about uh, some creativity of CSS and HTML. We will use uh, HTML and CSS pure, purely and will design such a clock uh, style. So without wasting our time we will move ahead and let me first tell you that it is just cached and there is nothing when I click when I press refresh you can see that. Let me show you the source codes source code then this is the source code and uh, okay uh, let me first uh, design take a div and uh, with the class as clock and there is nothing in between and let me style it in here so first of all I will style the body and uh, uh, after that I will style the clock so body is as background equal to RGBA and uh, not the RGBA but the radial gradient and uh, that is uh, 255 sorry RGBA that is 255 200 and 0 and 1 opacity okay and uh, now I will use the color as uh, black in the center and let me refresh you can see that not at the center black is at the corners sorry for that okay now I will make the text align property as center sorry center and now I will style the clock so clock let me first make it display as inline block so that it can be center and uh, the width that is 500 pixels and uh, let me take it as the height as 500 pixels and uh, the background is equal to Again, the radial gradient, and let me as white color and uh, the black at end. Let me refresh. You can see that. Okay. Now I will use the padding that is 20 pixels and. Uh, the border I will use that is 50 pixels and solid and make it as black and now the border radius as a uh, the border radius as a uh, 50% so that's our clock now let me use the needles the, uh, the second the minutes and minute and the hours so I will need it in here inside the clock so div dot second first of all I will style these let me style this second first as a uh, height is equal to 250 pixels and uh, width is equal to 10 pixels and uh, background is equal to radial gradient and I will make it as black and red okay let me show you we have it in here okay border radius is equal to I think 10 pixels will be fine yes okay guys now let me uh, move it to the center so for that I will position it as relative and we we'll use the left property and that is uh, 
its uh, width is 500 pixels so i will take the um, half of uh, width and that is 250 pixels from left but you can see it is not in the center because we have taken this is the point this one is the point this one this is the point where is the center occurring and we have uh, taken 10 pixels from this center which is the width of this needle so we will divide that and will the result will be minus from this property from this value so 245 is perfect okay similarly we will design our uh, second and second has been designed and uh, now the minute uh, which is the same but we will change something okay now let me make it as minute height is the same and width is 15 and now this will become the 42.5 okay border radius is same and we will change this one as this is blue you can see there but it is starting from uh, uh, this is the bottom and this is the top and we will move it to the top that is minus 250 pixels I think will be enough and yes it's enough similarly the second hand that is the uh, the hover the hover hand the hover needle that is it's styled here let me mm, change this class hover and 250 and i will make it as 180 pixels and width is 20 pixels and uh, now this will become 240 okay and other are same and black and i will make it as c green okay let me style and it is coming now in here so i will use the top property and will move it to the top that is in minus and in minus i will use the 250 and uh, 250 that is 3 Okay, let me calculate the top is here 250 and 250 plus 180 becomes uh, 250 350 and plus 80 becomes uh, 430 so I will use here as minus 430 pixels so it's looking nice okay guys now uh, uh, there is something which is uh, common there are some properties which are common in all these and that is these are the three properties not these one but uh, these are the properties which are common in all uh, in all uh, these three that is sick and dark men comma dot our paste it in here and remove it from here also okay guys remove it from here as well and let me refresh and you can see that everything is fine so we will need uh, the second hand on the top for that purpose i will make the z index as three and here we will use the two and the hour is below all the remaining two and that is negative one okay so you can see that so now we will uh, need to move it okay guys so uh, that is the animation part and for the animation i will 
uh, use the keyframes so for that purpose uh, keyframes and uh, that is the property of CSS3 the rules keyframe rules and now I will use a name for the animation let me take it as sec anim and uh, we'll use the from and to so from uh, let me make it as transform equal to uh, rotate z and from 0 degree okay this will be up to 360 degree from and this from will become 2 okay let me ref not the refresh but I think it's fine up to here and now come to second class to the second style and now use the animation equal to the name of animation the time the duration for animation the effect the timing effect and uh, infinite refresh and you can see it is rotating but we need it to rotate uh, the rotation center in here at the center of the club so I will use here a property that is that will be used for all and that is the transform origin okay that is the bottom in this case let me refresh as you can see you can see in 10 seconds it is completing the animation from 0 degree up to 360 degree and that means it completes one circle in 10 seconds but our second hands complete one circle in 60 seconds so you can use here the 60 and it's now moving just like the second hand the second needle of our wall clock okay similar is the case with the remaining two copy and paste and uh, make it as second and uh, men name it as you wish I name it as like uh, sick anim men anim and our anim so the remaining properties are fine and uh, let me copy this one and paste it in here and let me use it as 10 seconds and let me use this one as 10 seconds this one will this one will complete one round in 15 seconds and this one will complete one round one animation one cycle in 20 seconds okay let me refresh and you can see bam okay guys so now for uh, our clock we need the numbers we need to style them uh, the numbers which are located on our wall clock okay uh, for that purpose I have uh, a picture in, in my source directory that is background is equal to URL that is picture name is dot png that is also uh, 520 pixels uh, width and as 520 pixels height the picture dimension is 520 by 520 because our width I have made it myself I have uh, created this picture myself uh, in Photoshop and the 500 plus 220 uh, uh, and becomes a 520 width and similarly 500 plus 20 becomes 520 pixels the height so let me refresh the page and you will be able to see that so it is repeating for that purpose I will use no repeat and you can see no repeat 
so the position is at the center okay so you can see uh, we are up to here fine and it's looking good but if you uh, are saying that I have in I have uh, started uh, in the start of the tutorial that we will purely be using the CSS and HTML so for that purpose I have uh, to take let me finish it and okay let me take uh, some other divs that is having nothing copy and paste it just here in the clock so uh, you can see uh, these are only divs that is having uh, one two and three uh, as their contents and the class name is written as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 12. Okay, uh, let me refresh and you can see we are having these numbers one by one since these are the block level element and they are each in one block. Okay, now let me take it as copy this style. There is nothing special in this style and don't worry. Uh, you will see this style and you will get understand so font family here is for all of 12 classes is here the Arial and the font size is 3.7 em the color is uh, e2 e c e f position is relative so that we will be moving these uh, contents uh, accordingly the setting index is uh, mat zero because uh, if it is not zero then the clock or needle when rotate when rotates uh, will come below the numbers so for that purpose i have made it zero so that it can be uh, it can uh, sh show this their self below the needles when rotating and text shadow is used and uh, that is the css3 property and you are familiar with this this is the and this zeros are for the glow purpose and this is the blurness and this is the shadow color so, so let me refresh let me save first and refresh and you can see this is our contents now let me move this this the remaining style is for moving all the contents accordingly so style it like that you can see that there is nothing but they are getting just the top and left properties and are moved accordingly inside the clock so let me show you this is the whole uh, style for the numbers let me refresh and you can see the numbers from bottom are positioned relatively and uh, you can see that these are just the numbers I have taken myself if I use the Z index for this one as uh, if I remove Z index so it is not looking fine but uh, if I use the 6 then this was the problem I was talking about so if I use the 0 and it's perfect to have because if you uh, use some other divs then this will become the zero and will be uh, will be showing itself below all the divs you are using so let me take it as the original clock timing is 60 seconds for the second class for second uh, needle and this one is as 3600 and 3600 multiply by 40 is uh, 86 400 so let me show you this is the uh, whole design which I used for the clock or designing purpose and you can see if you like my tutorial guys so please uh, read comment and subscribe my channel and leave your comments must it must show that I can show myself uh, that you have learned something with this tutorial and thank you for now